All right, so our next project, hopefully you guys like it. Um, earlier in the broadcast, I talked about my latest um, new thing that I'm going to be starting, and it is called, a, the class is called Create Where You Are, um, Kit to Go, Class to Go. And so the Create Where You Are Kit to Go this month uses, uh-oh, where did I put it? The My Meadow stamp set, and I pulled it out a little bit ago to show you guys it, and now I don't know where I put it. Ugh, Barb, come on! Found it. So it uses the My Meadow stamp set, and it includes a half a pack of these frosted and epoxy enamel or epoxy dots, um, half a pack of the Rich Regals Designer Series paper package, a wink of Stella and a roll of our flax white ribbon. So you get all these supplies right here, these four things, plus you get the cards and envelopes to make eight cards. You get eight card bases, any punched pieces, any die cut pieces that need that are needed for the projects. Um, there's eight of them, so there's four cards, two of each. And then um, if you need the stamp set, you can add that separately. So the class itself is $45. If you need the stamp set, it's $25. If you don't need the stamp set, you already have it. Uh, the class is just $45. And I'm going to put that information on my blog. So keep that in mind. So we are using this stamp set. We've got some crumb cake card stock. I've got eight and a half by five and a half folded in half. And then I have a four by five and a quarter inch um, layer. I have... A strip of lovely lipstick which is one of the colors that is leaving us and I have the braided border punch here that we're gonna punch this with so it's got a little tiny guide mark I'm not sure if you guys can see that there's a little tiny silver guide mark right here I can see it hopefully you can um, that we're gonna kind of start with so I'm just kind of lining my paper up near that and we're gonna punch and then as I start to slide this out you can see that my lovely lipstick cardstock is covering up the pattern. And when it covers it up perfectly, I punch it again. And I slide it up again. And when it covers it again, is that right? Let me see. I think I got off track here. I think I just need to come back one. I guess we'll see. Hopefully. Well, actually, I guess I could look underneath and see. Yep, we're good. Okay, so we're going to line that up again. And I have my cardstock butted up against the back of the punch. And I'll punch it again. And then we have this fun braided strip that we're going to use on the card. And it does have a coordinating stamp set, but I didn't buy it. Um, it just wasn't something that I thought I would like I guess so I didn't buy it but I really thought this punch would be fun so that's why I got that all right so we're gonna snip that out of our strip here oops snip it out okay Vicki says she's gonna miss these colors I am too Vicki there are I do that every year every time we have colors that go away I'm sad but I always get over it because we always have some other amazing products that come out all right then this is one of our new punches and I can never remember if Oh, you know what I'm going to do right now? I am going to, if I can find my catalog, yep. I'm going to mark it. Okay, this is Label Me Lovely. And so, I'm going to write that right here. There it is. Label Me Lovely. Now I'll never forget. Okay. So my Label Me Lovely punch... I'm going to punch out of lovely lipstick. Ooh, how neat is that? Label me lovely, lovely lipstick. Okay, got that done. Then I need my white circle. Where did I put that? I think I may have thrown it. Did I throw it back in here? No, I didn't. But I'll get one. Okay, so this is about a one and seven eighths inch circle from our circle dies or if you have a punch that's close that works too okay so i need um my scrap paper back oh no i don't i need a scrap piece of cardstock because this is white and this is white and when i have white on white it's harder for me to see 
Okay, so let's bring in the stamps. So we've got the little piece of grass. We have our cute little wheelbarrow. We have the leaves to the flowers. We have some ground. Uh, we have some tulips and some more grass. A wheelbarrow bucket and some little flowers. So I'm going to start out by using Pear Pizzazz ink and my little ground piece here. And this is not one of the class, one of the cards that's in the class. The class, all the uh, cards are ex exclusive to the class, but I will have some other things that I'll show you um, along the way. Oh, I actually want to do the wheelbarrow first. So let me open up my crumb cake ink and ink up my little wheelbarrow here. And I'm going to center that little guy at an angle, kind of. Then I'm going to bring in my ground piece here. And we will get that. And then I'm going to flip it around and stamp it again so that I can get you know, all the grass, uh, all the ground done. There we go. Got some ground action going on. So then I am going to get a little scrap piece of paper here and my lovely lipstick. I'm done with the crumb cake, so I'm going to close that up because Pam will remind me to do that so I don't make a mess. And we'll stamp our little wheelbarrow bucket. And I'm just going to kind of fussy cut that out real quickly. It's not super hard at all. There's not a whole lot of, you know, it's mostly straight cuts, so... It only takes just about a few seconds. And we will, there we go, around there. Okay, and I have found the easiest way to get the flowers um, into the bucket. So, I mean, you put the wheelbarrow bucket on, something like that. So then where do you stamp your flowers? So I just take a pencil and I just kind of run it along the top of the bucket. So then I can see that little pencil line which is gonna make it easier for me to stamp my flowers, okay? So I'm gonna bring in my pool party, and this is the little flower, group of flowers. And so I'm just gonna stamp them right over the top of that line. And then I've got the leaves that coordinate with that. And we will come down over the top of this and stamp the little leaves. So now I can attach my little wheelbarrow bucket. And then my little leaves are right where I want them. And my little flowers are in the barrel, barrel, bucket, I don't know. Then if you want, you can bring in this grassy piece here. And you can just kind of add a little bit of grass um, to your ground image there. Which I think just kind of gives it a little more, a little more character. And then we have a little tiny, tiny uh, grass image here too that you can use. So that's what we have so far. Cute. Stamp set is really cute. Okay, and I think I was going to maybe use the tulips and then I changed my mind and I didn't want to. So, ooh, look at this. What the heck, Barb? See, I started talking and I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Naughty, naughty. Oh, I actually do need that still. These I don't need. Okay. So then, I just found something else in my bucket that I need. Making sure I don't have any more ink on my hands, because that's a that's a catastrophe right there. Just a, an issue waiting to happen. Okay, so we have that piece done. It looks weird on this purple, because we're not using the purple. So I have my layer here of crumb cake, and I am going to get my sentiment. Now, the stamp set doesn't come with any sentiments, so that's the beauty of the class, is you can use any sentiment that you have if you don't have... Um, the sentiments that I use, multiple sentiments will work. So I'm going to use the Get Well Soon sentiment out of the Timeless Tulips. And as you notice, I believe this is the same font uh, from the Welcome Easter stamp set. Where is that? Let me check. Hmm, it's pretty, it's pretty close. It's not exact, but I really like that kind of cursive-y cursive font. So I'm using the uh, Get Well Soon. And we're just going to ink that up in the lovely lipstick. And we're going to stamp that down here at the bottom of the card. Let's try that. That looks pretty good. Hello, Donna. Good to see you on here. And I'm going to bring my little braided strip. And I'm actually going to cut some of it off so I don't get too much glue on it. And 
So for those of you that joined a little bit late, um, as soon as we're done here, it will post live to my page and you can go back and watch what you missed if you so desire. And of course you should because we did make, um, I made some super cute things. So I will show you everything that I made at the end of the uh, class here. In case you tuned in late that you can still see everything. Oh, and if you, when I upload this to YouTube, you guys on YouTube, give the video a thumbs up because that really helps my channel out there because I'll end up putting this on YouTube for everyone. Uh, hopefully tomorrow. I have to get it off of Facebook first and then we can get it over to YouTube. All right, so I'm using my grid paper again to line this braided piece up. Hopefully that's, does that look straight? I can never tell and I swear every time I do something anymore it's not straight. Oh here's a scrap. Don't you guys love using scraps? I am the scrap queen. Okay. Then we have our little label piece here that I'm going to add. The lovely label punch out that we discovered. Now that I know what this is, I can always call it by its right name. We'll center that as best we can. Okay. And then our little um, wheelbarrow here, we're going to add with a couple of dimensionals. Whoops, that got away from me a little bit. Okay. And we're going to center this. Oops, I guess we need to center it with the ground. We don't want our ground going off to the side like so. And then the final thing I wanted to do is we have these cute little Happiness Blooms enamel dots. These will also be retiring because um, it's got the in colors in here. So keep that in mind. Anything that has in colors, these five in colors, um, we'll be retiring at the end of this catalog. So if you need extra cardstock, if you need ink refills, whatever, uh, just make sure you get it so that you don't miss out. All right, so I'm going to put one of these little enamel dots uh, right where the, uh, I don't know what you even call it. What do you call this? Right where the wheel connects to the wheelbarrow, I guess. We're going to put that right there. And then maybe, maybe we'll add a couple down here. I don't know. That might look terrible and I may change my mind. I didn't actually complete the entire card today. I got a little, uh, I was a little bit late getting everything done because I had to go out today. No, I don't like that. I'm going to put them here. I had to go out today and do a little shopping. Um, and thankfully, well, my daughter went with me, so that made the shopping a little bit more fun. And so, yeah, maybe we'll try that. Okay, I think that'll work. And then we'll put these, you know, actually we might need to do one more. Hmm. I'll debate that while I glue this on here. So I'm going to glue this on to my card base. Like so. You know what we could do? We could end up using the tulips. We could stamp our little grass. Let's see how Pear Pizzazz, oh, you know what? First, I'm going to bring in a scrap. I'm going to see what Pear Pizzazz looks like on crumb cake. We know what the lovely lipstick looks like because we just used it. Looks fine. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp a few of these little pieces of grass or stems, I guess, down here at the bottom on the inside of the card. And then I'm going to bring in my little tulips. Here's my little tulips here. And we'll stamp those over the top. The stamp set is so cute. There. I think that's cute. You open that up and you see a few little tulips in there. Who wouldn't like that? Were my store shelves empty? Um, yes, Evelyn, there were a number of things that were not available. Um, nothing that I, you know, desperately needed that I couldn't live without. So it was not really that big of a deal. Um, and I'll just go back, you know, I'll have to go back to the store eventually. So I'll just go again at some point. All right. So here's that. Let me bring in everything that we made this time. Get some room here. Didn't get all this garbage out of the way. Stamps, ink pads, trash, dimensionals. Okay. So as you guys know, this is my host code for the month. So if you would like to place an order, I would love to have it. Um, I do offer some free gifts with purchase if you're interested. Here's my other card. Um, you can always check my blog at barbstamps.com. And there are links there to my YouTube channel, my Facebook, 
um, all kinds of stuff, which I guess you're on my Facebook, so that wouldn't make any sense. Then we made this little Happy Easter uh, thing. Oh, those little glimmer dots. Those are cute. That was a good thing. I'm glad I did that. And then here's another one, and here's another one using the Welcome Easter stamp set. So we've got some treats there. So again, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. I hope I brought a little bit of joy to your life amidst these kind of, you know, crazy things that are going on. Um, so yes, so I'll be back here next week live again. And until then, take care everyone and have a great week. Bye-bye.